Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Sparkle English where I help you improve your English level. This is another lesson in my verb tense series. Today I'm going to teach you about the present perfect and the past participle. The present perfect is a verb tense and it connects the past and the present. We form the present perfect with has or have plus the past participle. And past participles are forms of verbs used to create this tense, and they can be regular or irregular. First, I want to compare three different sentences in different verb tenses. Let's look at this sentence in the present continuous. I'm visiting my grandparents. I am visiting my grandparents. In the present continuous, this is happening right now. Now look at this sentence in the past simple. I visited my grandparents last week. This is in the past. A specific point in the past, last week. Now here is the present perfect. I have visited my grandparents recently. Now what's the difference between the present perfect and the past simple? Well, in this sentence, we haven't given a specific point in time. And when we use the word recently, we're emphasizing that this happened in the recent past. The present perfect has many uses, and I'm going to go through them in detail. But first, let's talk about how we form the present perfect. First, let's talk about how to form the present perfect in the affirmative form. We begin with the subject, then have or has, and then the past participle. For example, I have been, he has gone, we have eaten. You can also contract this and say I've been, he's gone, we've eaten. Let's look at some sentence examples. I have been to France twice. Mom has gone to the library. We have eaten sushi before. All of these examples have irregular past participles. We don't say mom has went to the library. Went is in the past simple. But in the present perfect, we use has or have plus the past participle. And the past participle of go is gone. Go, went, gone. Eat, ate, eaten. Let's look at some examples using regular past participles. Tommy has cleaned his room. The women have started a new art project. Cleaned and started are regular verbs. And the past participle is the same as these verbs in the past simple form. So when do we use the present perfect? First of all, we can use the present perfect to describe actions completed at an unspecified time in the past. For example, Sarah and Jill have been to Spain. This happened in the past but there is not a specified time. Imagine their trip was in 2020. I would say Sarah and Jill went to Spain in 2020, but because I have not specified a time in the past, I'm going to use the present perfect. Another example. The student has visited 10 museums in Madrid. Again, I've not specified a time in the past, so I can use the present perfect. We also use the present perfect for actions that happen recently. You often see the present perfect with the following words, just, already, or yet. Laura has just finished her homework. When we use the word just between has or have, and the past participle, it means very recently, maybe five minutes ago. Another example, we have already eaten lunch. 
we can use already to indicate something that has happened sooner than expected or before now. The jury hasn't decided yet. We usually use yet in negative sentences or questions, and it's used to indicate that something hasn't happened, but it is expected to happen. Another use of the present perfect is to indicate experience up to the present. When you're talking about things you have done in your life, for example, I have lived in three countries. I'm not specifying when I lived in these countries, but in my lifetime, I have lived in three countries. He has given lectures at many universities. We also use the present perfect for actions that began in the past and continue to the present. For example, Bethany has lived in her house for over a decade. If we say Bethany lived in that house for a decade, it would mean she no longer lives in that house. But when we use the present perfect and say has lived, we know she still lives in the same house. Another example, Doug and Fred have worked at that company since 2010. That means they still work at that company. I have lost my keys and can't get in the house. My keys are still lost in the present, so I can use the present perfect because this action that began in the past still continues in the present. Now let's talk about regular past participles and irregular past participles. Regular past participles end in ed. They are formed by adding ed to the base verb. For example, walk becomes walked, watch becomes watched, clean, cleaned, play, played. But there are many irregular past participles, and irregular past participles don't follow a set rule, so you have to memorize these. If you go to the description below this video, I've linked you to some videos on irregular verbs to help you practice the irregular past participles. For example, the past participle of eat is eaten. The past participle of sing is sung. The past participle of see is seen. And the past participle of do is done. There are many more past participles. You just have to memorize them. So now let's talk about how to form the present perfect in the negative form. To make these sentences negative, we add not after have or has in between have or has and the past participle. This is generally contracted to haven't or hasn't. For example, I haven't been to Greece. Now, we also often use the word never with the present perfect. For example, I have never been to Greece. Notice when we use the word never, we do not put not after have. You can't say I haven't never been to Greece. That's a double negative, and that is considered incorrect in English. So you can say, I haven't been to Greece, or I have never been to Greece. Essentially, these mean the same thing. Another example, she hasn't seen Game of Thrones, or she has never seen Game of Thrones. Now let's talk about the interrogative form of the present perfect. This time we begin with have or has, then the subject, and then the past participle. For example, have you climbed a mountain? We also can ask questions with the present perfect using the word ever. Have you ever climbed a mountain? Again, these sentences 
are basically the same. But when you use the word ever, it really emphasizes that you're asking about the person's entire life up until now. Another example, has Uncle Joe been to France? Has Uncle Joe ever been to France? Essentially, these mean the same thing. Remember to place never or ever just before the past participle. So now it's time for our quiz. There are eight sentences in total, and you must identify and correct any mistakes in these sentences. Let's begin. Number one, I seen that movie three times. Number two, we haven't never been to a lighthouse before. Number three, dad has gone to the supermarket to buy some bread. Number four, have you ever ate fish and chips? Number five, the students has just finished their exams. Number six, Jack has never drunk coffee. Number seven, the team has finished their weekly meeting. And finally, number eight, have Larry visited you in Australia yet? Okay, let's correct these together. Number one is incorrect. It should be, I have seen that movie three times. This is a very common mistake. In many regions, people say, I seen it. You can't say, I seen, you have to say, I have seen. If you want to use the past simple, you could say, I saw that movie last night, for example. And number two is also incorrect. Here we have a double negative. It should be, we have never been to a lighthouse before. Or, we haven't been to a lighthouse before. So, you can take out never or remove not. Number three is correct. Number four is incorrect. Eight is in the past simple. What is the past participle of eat? It is eaten. Have you ever eaten fish and chips? Number five is also incorrect. Here we have a subject verb agreement error. The students is plural. So we need to change has to have. The students have just finished. And number six is is correct. This one might be confusing for some people because it's not often you hear the word drunk used in this way. However, the verb is drink, drank, drunk. I drank coffee yesterday. Jack has never drunk coffee. You can't say Jack has never drank coffee. That would be incorrect. Number seven is also correct. And finally, number eight, we also have an error. Again, with subject verb agreement, it should be, has Larry visited you? Because Larry is a he, and we say, has he, not have he. Okay, let me know in the comment section how many you got correct out of eight. Let me know if you had any problems with these questions. You can check out other videos of mine on double negatives, on different verb tenses, and on the past participle and irregular verbs by checking the description of this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next lesson.